Hey YouTube, Robert here. Another vlog from Polham School and Server Lab. Uh, today, one of my students uh, is working on our DIY KVM system. Uh, since we're a public school, we don't have millions of uh, dollars to spend on equipment. So uh, we're basically saving the money from uh, expensive KVMs and making our own. So we have some uh, VESA mounts for the monitors and we've got some shelves coming for the keyboards and mice um, and then we're basically going to set up our own little KVM with some cables uh, so that we can administer all the servers. So yeah, this is what we're doing. It's super loud in here. Um, I've got one student in here assisting me today with this um, who's going to graduate soon so that's super exciting.
so we've done the upgrade now to this rack as well as the one behind me. Uh, so we have moved the monitor uh, up to this level. Um, so now it's at the high level rather than higher up than it was before. So the plan is that we'll have the monitors at this level and then some trays that will hold the mouse and keyboard just below it. In the rack behind me, we have the we have the switch and we have the cable management uh, tray here. And what we're going to do is we're going to build DIY KVMs using these adapters here. So this adapter uh, goes to VGA, USB, and serial. And what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, this kind of screens and the keyboard and mice here. So we just have it all in one place. Now normally a KVM would cost us around 15 to 20,000 Swedish crowns, which is a lot of money. Uh, this kind of setup, each rack cost us around 2,000 crowns for this type of setup instead. So we save a lot of money. So I will do an update for this upgrade when the trays come, and then you can see how it turns out. So thanks for watching.